Hi guys and welcome back to my channel At Home With Shell. So as part of my Fake Away series, today I'll be showing you how to make a KFC rice box Fake Away, which comes in at less than 500 calories and only two and a half sins per serving. If you are new to my channel, then hi, my name is Michelle. I upload quite a lot of foodie content and fake aways on my channel. So if you are new, then I would love for you to subscribe. I also post all of my meals every single night on my Instagram stories. So I will link that down below for you if you want to follow me over there too. So let's get into showing you how to make this delicious KFC fake away. So as always, the first thing you want to do is get all of your ingredients ready. So I've got all of my ingredients here for the chicken itself. And then over here, I've got all the ingredients that you need to make the rice. Then I'll just serve it with some salad. So I will list all the ingredients in the description box down below. But it, honestly, it's so much easier just to get everything out and get it all prepped first. So, so I'm just using some rapeseed oil, which I'll just spray into a frying pan. Then you want to fry the onion for around five minutes until soft. So after around five minutes, the onion should be nice and soft. Then you want to add in your spices. So here I've got four tablespoons of turmeric. And then I've also got four teaspoons of curry powder. So I've just used tikka curry powder, but you can use whatever curry powder you've got. And then on here I've also got one red pepper that I've just diced up, around six mushrooms that are just thinly sliced and two carrots again that are diced. So you want to stir all of this in together for a couple of minutes letting the spices really mix in. So after a couple of minutes you then want to add in the rice so you want to add in around a cup full of rice and then just to stop it sticking together, just spray a couple of spritzes of your fry light. Mix it all together before adding in just over a litre of stock. So once you've got the stock in, give it a good stir and then you want to add in the peas and sweet corn. So I've just used 80 grams each of frozen peas and frozen sweet corn. You want to bring that to the boil, then put a lid on and let it simmer for around 15 to 20 minutes. So the first thing you want to do is just line a baking tray with some parchment paper and give it a few spritzes of the oil. Whilst the rice is cooking, the next thing you want to do is get on with your chicken. So I've just got in a bowl here, two eggs which I've just whisked up. And then in here I'll put around 50 grams of panko breadcrumbs. To the breadcrumbs you then want to add your spices. So you will want two teaspoons of garlic granules or garlic powder. Garlic granules does actually work better, but I only had um, garlic powder, unfortunately. You want to add in two teaspoons of onion granules, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of chilli powder, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and lastly, one teaspoon of dried oregano. Then you want to crumble in a couple of stock cubes. You can use vegetable or chicken. So I'm just using one of each here because that's just what I had lying around. So crumble them into the breadcrumbs mixture. And then lastly, just season with some salt and pepper. You then want to get your chicken breast and then you want to coat it in the egg. So put it in the egg first, then move it to the breadcrumbs. Coat it in the breadcrumbs. Then to make it super crispy, put it back into the egg, coat it in that, back into the breadcrumbs. So you'll get a real good kind of coating on here. And then you want to place it 
onto your baking parchment paper and then you want to repeat that for all of them. Once you've done all four of the chicken breasts, you then want to put them in the oven. So on a preheated oven, in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for around 25 minutes until the chicken is completely cooked through. After around 20 minutes, the rice should be nice and cooked and then hopefully the chicken will be cooked too. So here we have it, it's all finished now and I've dished it up just with some salad and layered the chicken on top of the rice.